So we're going to look today at the surface area of pyramids and cones. But for pyramids specifically, we're going to look at the square-based pyramids. And the reason we look at the square-based pyramids is because they have the same side length for all four sides, which makes their triangle, the four triangle, um, equal as well. Okay? So if we're looking at this shape, right? If I have four equal sides here, that means I'm going to have four equal triangles for my uh, for my face. Okay. If I have a rectangular base, which is I don't think I've seen that in our lessons, um, you're going to end up with two of the same triangle and two other triangles that are the same, right? Because the base of the triangle is going to change. Um, to determine the surface area of a pyramid, we need to find out the surface area of the base and the surface area of all four triangles, okay? Since this is a square base, what would be the area of the square base? Length times width, or because it's the same side, right? It's going to be, let's say you call the side A or B or whatever you want to call it. It's going to be B squared or A squared or whatever squared, okay? So uh, they call it B in your formula sheet, so I'm going to stick with the formula sheet, okay? So what they do is they call this, so have your square, don't laugh at my drawing, that's the best I can do. Uh, so they call this B, right? So the area of the base is B squared, okay? What would be the area of the triangle? Base times height divided by 2, right? So because I'm looking at base times height divided by 2, I'm looking at the actual height of the triangle, right? So I'm looking at the actual height of the triangle and not the height of the pyramid, not the height of the pyramid. So there's two different heights in here, okay? I have the height of the pyramid, which is from the top of the pyramid to the middle of the bottom of the base. Okay, and I have what we call the slanted height, which is the height of the triangle. You're going to have to use the slanted height because you're looking at the area of this triangle and the area of this triangle is the slanted height, okay, times base divided by 2. But because I have four of them, it's going to be four times that, right? So the area of the triangle is base times the slanted height divided by 2. And because I have four of them, right, it's going to be 4 times base times the slanted height divided by 2, which is then going to end up being 2 base times the slanted height. And the slanted height is the height of the actual triangle. Okay? So we're going to end up with a formula that for all together, because we know that the area of the base is b squared, right, because it's a square. So the total area of a pyramid is base squared, so this base squared, plus 2 times base times the slanted height. Okay, this is how they came up with that part. Are we okay with this? Everyone? So I need to know the slanted height. I need to know that side in order for me to be able to find the surface area. Okay. So in this case, uh, they give me a square base of 24 meter and a slant height of 16 meter. Okay. If I want to find the surface area, the surface area is going to be base squared plus 2 times base times the slanted height. So remember that the 24 is your base, and 16 is your S. So it's going to be 24 squared plus 2 times 24 times 16. And what would be the answer for this?
1544. And that's going to be meter square. Are we okay with that? So that's an easy example because I know all my information, you just have to plug them into the form. Okay? Now when it comes to this example right here, so I know that my base is 24. I am given the height of the triangle, okay? The, the pyramid, sorry. I'm not given the slanted height, I am given the height of the pyramid, which is H. I know that because it's a square base, when I drop the height from the top of the pyramid to the bottom, it's going to cut my, so this whole thing here is 24, right? But the height is going to cut my, that side into half, and that would be 12, okay? That's going to happen. Okay, eyes on me for a second. So this is my pyramid, right? If I'm going to drop a line that's perpendicular to the base, because it's the square base, the height is gonna come in the middle, like literally in the middle of the square, okay? Which means if from here to here I have 24 and my height is gonna land in the middle, that means this part is going to be 12. Yes? Okay? So that's why, even if they don't give you this as 12, you need to know that this is actually 12. Okay? Because that's half of your size. Okay, so I know my height is nine. I know that size is 12, but these information are not gonna help me to find the surface area straight, right? I need to do something before I can solve for the surface area. What is it? Find the slant height. And how can I find the slant height? Squaring what? What, what formula do I use? the Pythagorean theorem, right? So I told you the Pythagorean theorem is not gonna go away, right? So if you look at this right here, I have a right angle triangle, right? I have my two sides, the base and, the, and, and the, the, my two bases, B and A. I am looking for C. So the first thing I have to look for is I have to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for that C. So that's going to be 9 squared plus 12 squared plus 9 squared plus 12. 225. 225. And then square root it. Okay, 225. And then I have to square root, right, because I'm looking for just C, and that's going to give me 15 centimeters. Perfect. Now I have my slanted height. I can use my regular formula, which is the surface area is equal to b squared plus 2b. Okay? So this, yeah, I know, I like that too. b squared plus 2b times s. So that's going to be my base is 24. That's the base of my uh, square. triangle or they're going to give you the slanted height and then you have to know if you need to solve for the slanted height or it's already given to you. We good with that?
So except it has a circular base. So the area of the cone that does not include the base is called the lateral, lateral area, okay? So similar to what we talked about in the cylinder yesterday, we had a lateral area, same with the cone, okay? So in the cone, you have a circle, right, which is your base, and you have the lateral area, which is, which is the, the top part. So that's what you actually get when you get an ice cream cone. You don't get the circle, you just So, to find the total surface area, we add the lateral area plus the area of the circular base, okay? So we know that for the area of the circular base, I have pi r squared because that gives me the area of that circular base. And the other part, which is the lateral area, is gonna be pi r s. So you can look at your formula sheet, okay? You have the area of the lateral surface, which is pi r s and the area of the base, which is the circle, which is pi r squared, and then you're gonna end up with the formula. Pi r squared plus pi r x. So the two things that you need, you need your radius, and you need the slanted height again, okay? So the slanted height is different than the height of the cone, okay? So the slanted height is basically, if you look here, right? The slanted height is this length and not this length. It's not this height, it's the height of the outside that's outside of So if you're looking at this shape here, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So find the surface area of a cone that has a radius of 12 feet and a slant height of 15 feet. So they gave you all the information that you need to just plug it into the formula, okay? So they gave you that the uh, slant height is 15 and they gave you that the radius is 12, okay? So all what you need is you need to plug them into the formula. You want to do this part, write it down, do this part, write it down, and then add them together. Okay? I always recommend that you use the pi button. Okay? Don't use the 3.14. Most calculators do have the pi button. And that would give you. 1017.9 and the unit is going to be square So find the surface area of the following cone. What do you need to do?
Okay? So your radius is going to be your diameter divided by 2, which is 9.6 divided by 2, and that gives me 4.8 centimeter. Okay? What else? So remember a cone, surface area of a cone, it's pi r squared plus pi r s, right? So I have all the information needed. Do I need, do I have S? No. No. So I need to look for S. What did they give me? I can do Pythagorean theorem, correct, because I know the height, right? And I know the radius, it's 4.8, right? So I can do Pythagorean theorem to find S or C or whatever you want to call it, right? So C squared equals, remember this is your hypotenuse, so this is your C. It's equal to A squared plus B squared. So that's going to be 4.8 squared plus 12.8 squared. I got 186 decimal 88. And then to find C, what do you do? I uh, square root that, and mm -hmm. I got 13.7 centimeters squared. Perfect. Now it's going to be centimeter, right, because it's a size. We're not in an area yet, so size per centimeter. And that's S? That's S. That's your slanted height. That's correct. Okay? Now I know my radius and my slanted height. It's a matter of just plugging them in. And find my answer. squared because that is the surface. We're good? Okay. So I'm going to give you some time to work on your homework for this. What did I say on the green or whatever color sheet I gave you? What are we covering today? So today we were working with pyramids and cones. Okay. Let me just 